Hey folks, you're out in the driveway with Easy Jeezy. I thought I'd do a little review today on some suspension seats. Every Volkswagen out there is so old, it probably doesn't have the original seats, and it's almost as expensive to rebuild a stock original seat as it is to replace it with something. You can get junkyard takeout seats. I've seen some really good deals the guys have got on that, and they lucked out with the color and everything, and they're very happy with them. And I decided that uh, these seats came in my desert race car. <clears throat> I decided not to use them because they were a little bit too big for the application. The guy had cobbled up the installation that was in there. <clears throat> and they weigh 27 and a half pounds each, which I thought was very excessive. If you can save, uh, gosh, if you can save 40 pounds just like that, uh, that's a pretty good deal. So you want your suspension to absorb things and when you're out there on the sand dunes the sand itself is kind of a moving surface so you just try to pick better lines and makes you it forces you to be a better driver when you don't have a lot of suspension and cushy seats but these seats seem to be very popular now out there on the sand dunes and a lot of people have them on the street very good back support very high bolsters you're gonna be aggravated at times and I know if you have a female passenger they're going to be aggravated at times because these are difficult to get in and out of the car. I'm not a real big person. I'm like five and a half feet and a buck sixty-five so it it's not and I do a lot of yoga. For my age I'm pretty agile if I do say so myself and these seats are comfortable. My just this is bone stock equipment. The seat slider was purchased, and the seat base, this tube frame base, it fits a sedan floor pan without having to remove the stock sliders that come in the Volkswagen. It goes above it, and you've gained some storage space underneath those seats that's nice to have as well. The seat sliders, the, the adjusters in the front, and it moves quite a bit. You, If you move it all the way forward, or if you have a removable steering wheel, or move it all the way back, it might make getting in and out a little bit easier for you. Right now, those seat sliders are new, so they work fantastic. In a sand car or something out in the dirt, exposed to the elements, might not last that long, but I'm hoping that in this environment, inside a car, uh, that they'll last a long time and stay smooth and it just needs a little maintenance like everything else. So the passenger seat is not on slider, does not move back and forth. You have to decide what that position is going to be and check with your passenger and have a trial fit to make sure that they have leg room. But these cars have ample leg room for most average people. Um, the seat itself tilts forward and I'll show you that here in just a second. There's a lot of headroom between the back of my head and the headrest. The reason for that is to allow for a crash helmet. If you just look at my head, my fat head, and put a crash helmet on top of that, you want room to be freely looking around and look, using your mirrors and just looking around while you're out there on the trails looking for better lines and so forth. Um, my seatbelt arrangement right now is somewhat compromised, but it seemed like the right thing to do. And we went on a 100 mile drive today, and I was just very nice, very comfortable with how that seat setup works. This is what was in the car. They are obviously takeouts from something else. And you can see what I was saying about the headrest being actually tilted forward so that in a accident situation on the street your head rest is going to work the way it's supposed to these seats had a tendency to come loose jiggle and rattle these bases were very old i'm sure someone took a lot of time to make these and figure this out there's a lot of welds a lot of pieces of metal they had them bolted to holes in the stock sliders. They left them in there. These bases went around the sliders. If you're using takeouts, here's an idea on how to make it. 
and here's uh, I raised it up to get a little support on my thighs I made a couple of clips here and here's the driver's side and you can see on this one it's on the outside where they cut the little slot for support and it worked pretty well and you can see the springs and so forth and how it worked the one of the big benefits of having a suspension seat in a, a car that you're off-roading a lot is that the seat goes up and down but the back stays stationary what happens with that if you can imagine if you're wearing a t-shirt or I uh, have a shirt tucked into your pants. What it has a tendency to do as the day goes on or as the time goes on, sometimes it doesn't take very long. If you're sweating, it'll pull the back of your shirt right up out of your pants. It'll be rolled up behind you and it will be uncomfortable and it's an aggravation. And that's one of the reasons why they use the one piece uh, backs and so forth. The seat covers that I had were one piece and I put up with them for five years, but they were pretty much getting done as well. So I thought I had, since I had these from the Desert Race Car, I'd just go ahead and put them in. Let's take a closer look at, at this seat base. It's a nice tube frame. The seat itself has got a chrome moly tube inner frame, and you can take this outer everything apart and work on it rebuild it if you bend it break it or something happens to it it is so serviceable and you can disassemble it unlike this one over here this one is a lot easier to take apart and put together maybe you just want to clean it or something uh, i'm not sure this is a real good quality uh plastic or naga hide or it i don't think it's leather but it sure is nice the ones that I have in my tub buggy, I bought in the early 90s. I had them in a sand car for a few years. They still are looking good. They've been wet. These things feel a little stiff, like they had been through a few rainstorms, and they were just covered with mud and desert debris that uh, had gotten into it because you couldn't get to the back. And as you can see, they cleaned up pretty nice. Uh, you've got these slots. One of the side benefits I wasn't expecting on these slots is when you take your seat belts off and it just goes over here, it doesn't flop down in the mud on the ground and or get lost underneath. You have quite a bit of space underneath this for storage and the original seat slider mechanism is all there. Uh, I've drilled a hole in the side of that and used that for... the hole was already there. And that's why I put my seat belt down there because I just installed these the other day and Mary and I wanted to go for a ride up in the mountains and I'll maybe follow this video with a few Aspen shots for those that like to do that type of thing and go on rides with us. These are the mounting tabs and there is a bracket so you'd have to buy the seats. You have to buy the base. You have to decide whether or not you... The base comes with some steel plates that will adapt to the seat if you want them in a fixed position and never moving. If you want these sliders, they're extra. And the passenger seat has a uh, different setup yet. We'll go over there and take a look at that real soon. Uh, these seat belts would never pass tech inspection. I've got the type of seat belt that most guys have in dune buggies that uh, interlock and it drives me nuts to watch people struggle with these you show your passengers how to use these they just don't seem to get it uh, so i just went with uh, the two inch cheapo type buggy uh, seat belts that they clip on and it's just less frustrating for both of us so that's what i did the seat just fit i think they look good the i have a black interior anyhow and then I have the gray inserts, kind of matches my beard, right? So there is plenty of room when the door is closed. You can uh, look down here. It doesn't, it's not smashed up against the door or gonna hold your door open. They are from outside edge to outside edge, 22 inches from the, the seat, as you see it right here, up to the roof is 36 inches. And from the door jam, it's six inches to where your back would be when you're sitting in there and I felt I didn't have to make any adjustments to my mirror from those other seats it just felt great on this side you just grab hold of this little hook type setup pull it back 
and the seat tilts forward and all of a sudden you've got tons of uh, shoulder room so somebody can access the back get in and out or you can get in the back and do whatever it is you have to do there and you can reach this stuff this the seats are basically the frames are basically the same on both sides they're well made they bolt right to the chassis and I think I think it just they're in proportion they just kinda kinda looks right to me and that's you know I'm not real particular you or I'd have this thing painted but it uh, this is a probably a single stage paint and this is a base clear and it's holding up a lot better except for where the chips are uh, I ran 3 8 bolts up from the bottom and I used uh, washers and it's close to the edge of the pan uh, they all lined up in in a pretty good spot uh, there's the front one so you don't get into the tunnel but you're right next to it I, I hate to make holes and, and just like anybody else <laughs> seems like mother nature makes plenty of holes with all the rust and stuff and I've got some uh, rust issues with mine I should get some of that phosphate uh, stuff and put on there but they're really comfortable guys and now for the rest of the video I'll take you on a a little ride that Mary and I did today up in the Rocky Mountain National Park looking at some more aspen that are still up there there's a chance of snow we were up at 10,000 feet and they were predicting rain this afternoon even on a weekday this is Tuesday it got busy up there and there was a lot of cars they were lined up we drove right in because we went early in the morning but when we left they were stacking up at the entrance booths and had to have a shuttle bus to go up to some of the popular sites like Bear Lake so I'm glad we had the time that we did up there and it sure was fun to take the car up there with the new seats and we took a lot of video and snapshots so I'll follow up with those thanks for watching thanks for subbing easy jeezy